Hi friends, welcome to Valsan. In the last session, we discussed the Church Turing thesis. In this session, we will move to different classes of languages. We already discussed the classes of languages are regular language that is accepted by the finite automata, context to free language that is accepted by the push down automata, and recursive language. And then recursive enumerable languages. So generally, this Turing mission accepts two class of languages. One is recursive. Second one is recursive enumerable language. So this is recursive language. First, I will explain the recursive language. It is also called as Turing decidable language. Recursive language is also called as Turing decidable language. The simple thing is if we pass a string to the language, to the Turing mission, suppose assume the string W. If the string belongs to that language, then the Turing mission can accept. If the string belongs to the language, Turing mission accept and then move to halt state. Suppose if the string does not belongs to the language, then Turing mission reject and halt. Reject and halt. That is simple case. If it is accepted, that is if the string belongs to, then accept and then halt. If the string does not belongs to and reject and then halt. Simply we can write like this. Suppose if M is the Turing mission and recursive languages are decidable languages, M decides L. That is L is a language. In that case, what happens? We are designing a Turing mission M. We are designing a Turing mission M such that such that M accepts W if and only if W belongs to L and M rejects W if and only if W does not belongs to L. So based on this, what are the points? Here the language L is a recursive language also called as L is the decidable language. That means automatically L is decidable L is recursive language. Next one is here the Turing mission M is called decider. M is called decider. And the main important thing is M always halt. Remember the thing, whether it is accepted or rejected, the Turing mission always halt. This is the recursive language. Next to move to recursive enumerable language. Recursive enumerable language. This is also called as Turing recognizable language. So, recursive languages are called Turing decidable languages. Recursive enumerable languages are called Turing recognizable languages. The same sense if the string belongs to that particular language. And if you have a Turing mission that accepts that particular language, then that means simply if the Turing mission accepts the string, move to acceptance state and then halt. Suppose if the string does not belongs to the language, then the Turing mission moves to reject. Simply instead of reject, this is the recursive enumerable language. If does not belongs to, then the Turing mission may or may not halt. May or may not halt and go to loop. And go to loop. That is, it may or may not halt. It completely depends on the string belongs to. Suppose if string belongs to the language, it will halt. If string does not belongs to the language, there is a chance does not halt. Simply, we can write like this. M is the Turing mission. Here, in the previous case, what you did? M decides L. So, in this case, you can write M recognizes L. M recognizes L. So, 
if there exist a turing machine m such that m accepts w if and only if w belongs to l that is it checks only the accepting case in this case the language l is called recognizable language here the language l is called recursively enumerable language here automatically m is a recognizer of l and finally in the previous one m is completely halt here m is may or may not halt in which case if w does not belongs to l if w does not belongs to l this is a recursive enumerable language and this is a recursive language the main difference comes under the last case if the string does not belongs to that is the case and remember one thing generally these recursive enumerable language that is recognizable languages there is a chance to not decidable that means they never come to halt in case of undecidable languages that is if in this case here if it may or may not suppose if may not halt automatically that particular type of languages are called called undecidable languages in the next session we will move to multi tape turing machine thank you